Good morning, good evening, good night from wherever you are watching us and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial where we are going to learn how to create LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn is known to be for professionals where you can post your credentials and then potential clients are able to see what you can do and you are able to get jobs but you can also post jobs. So to post or to create LinkedIn ads, you simply log in to your LinkedIn and here I'm already logged in to my account. And so at the top here, you'll notice we have the home, the network, jobs, messaging, notifications, your profile here. And then on the upper right corner, we have the for my business. This is where you use to create your LinkedIn ads. So you click on for my business, that drop down arrow. You'll notice it gives you visit more LinkedIn products that is learning, talent insights, post a job, advertise, find clients, groups or service marketplace. Now we want to create an ad, therefore we are going to click on advertise and it will bring us here to the campaign manager. Now in the campaign manager, this is where you set up your campaign manager account. So you'll put your name here. I'll retain it as Vic's ads account. So let me call it Victoria's ad account and then associate a LinkedIn page here. You enter the page name, URL, or create a new one. And then you can set your currency here. Currently it's set as USD and I'll retain it that, but if you want to change, you click on change. And then down here, you click on agree and create account. And you notice now you, are, you successfully created your account. Then you click down here on get started. And so this is where you now create your campaign. So you have the quick and we have the advanced. And at the top here, you can click on new campaign, which is also on this side. And then after that, you go to ads and then finally you click on launch. So if you click on advanced here, you notice you can change to advanced mode and you'll have access to more objectives, ad formats and targeting options. And your current settings will be transferred to your new campaign. So let's use the quick one. So we are going to click on quick and then you give this campaign name. So we are going to call it Victoria's Bookshop. And then you scroll down here and look for the objective. Is your objective um, brand awareness where you reach more people with your boost or website visits where you get more clicks in your landing page? So depending on what you want, if you have a page, this is what you click, but maybe you just want to click on brand awareness, you click on that. And then if you need things like lead generation, you can use the advanced mode as I showed you at the top here, but you can also switch the mode here. Next, you come to the audience, you select how you want to target. You can do this either on LinkedIn template or you can do profile based audience where you reach members by seniority, job function and industry, or you can use the LinkedIn template. You choose from a list of customers from an audience or custom audiences. So let's first show you how to do the profile based. If you click on profile based, you notice down here, you can decide on select the audience profile language. So you target maybe the people depending on the language. At the top here where we have the location, you can target in terms of location. So if I click on the locations, you notice here we can add the location. Maybe we want people in Australia or United Kingdom, you just click on that. And then you click on that United Kingdoms. You notice now it has been added. And the forecasted results here, you can notice here we have 37,000 plus audience size. So you can do that. Then the language here, you select the language. I want those that speak English. And then I can now click on save the audience. But I can also add company or industries here, job seniorities or job functions and job titles. So. Remember, I'm doing a campaign on Victoria's Bookshop or maybe a reading culture or something. So down here, I can select the company industries. If I click on that, you notice I can select different industries here. So for instance, if it's education, I type education. You notice we have primary and secondary education. We have higher education. I can select on both. So now I have added 
the company or industries. In terms of jobs and seniorities, again, in terms of jobs and seniorities, you notice I can look for seniorities in terms of unpaid training, entry, senior, manager, director, VP, and all this. So I can just click on the ones that I feel would be good for this. So I'll click on training and entry level. Then for the job functions, if I click on job functions here again, I can select on the one that I feel fits for me. Maybe it's about community services, consulting, education, whichever it is, I select on that. So you populate your data here. And then once you're satisfied, you click on save audience. So that now your audience target will be saved. Then you can give this audience a name. I'll call it book readers. And then I click on save. So I have a saved audience by the name of book readers. Down here, you notice we can have automatic audience expansion where you increase the reach of your audience by showing your ads to audience with similar attributes to your target audience. And for more targeting attributes, again, we can go to the advanced. Then down here, this is where we create the ad format. We can do a single image. We can also do a video. And if I want additional formats, I'll simply click on switch mode so that I can get, if I click on that, you notice, if I go to the advanced mode, now I have switched to advanced mode. And you notice now, for instance, for the objective, initially we had brand awareness and website visits, but now we have lead generation, we have engagement, we have talent, we have video views, video conversions, and job applications. So you notice once you use the advanced view, you get more things that you can adjust. For instance, we if we come now to the audience down here, you notice for the audience, if we select the audiences here, we can either select the audiences or audience attributes. For instance, if I click on audience attributes, I can select those audience attributes in terms of demographics, education, job experience, interest, and traits. If for instance, I click on job experiences, again, I'll be able to dwell on that experience on that experience in terms of job seniorities, member skills, years of experience, and all that. You notice if we come back to the ad format, initially we had the single image and the video only, but you now notice we have the caroso, we have the text, we have follower, we have spotlight, and all these are different. For instance, for the caroso image, you tell an interactive story with two or more images, and then for the text, you simply drive new customers to your business on a budget that works for you. And then for the spotlight, you showcase your product to increase traffic to your landing page. So this is the difference between the quick and the advanced. So you can choose the advert format. In this case, I just want to select maybe the caroso there, caroso image where I can select two images there. And then you notice you get the details on the left-hand side, the audience we have selected again in terms of operations and all these percentages you get them on the right hand side. After creating all that down here, that is where now you click on save and exit, or you can click on next down here. And for you to run the LinkedIn ads, you need to have your payment method verified. So you notice that my payment method is not verified and therefore I may not have to click on next so that now my campaign goes online. I hope this has been helpful. That is how you create LinkedIn ads. Kindly like this video, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.